She called the clinic early in the morning. There's an echidna in my yard. What should I do? Is it injured or in any danger? No. Then just leave it alone. The general public has an unfortunate habit of kidnapping wildlife that was just minding its own business, in the mistaken belief that if you can see them, there must be something wrong. So when somebody calls the vet clinic because there's an echidna in their backyard, in an area where echidnas are known to live perfectly happy lives, we tell them to leave the poor animal alone unless it's obviously injured. Hi, what have you got in that box? It's the echidna I called about earlier. The one we told you to leave alone? Yes, I thought I would bring it into you anyway. Humans seem to think that their backyard belongs to them and only them. Wildlife think backyards are just another space. Wildlife know where they want to go, and if they're not in any danger, it's generally best to just let them. But nevertheless, well-meaning people will ignore our advice and present the vet clinic with an echidna, freshly dug up out of their garden. And doing so almost kills them. Echidnas are highly specialised feeders. They hunt ants with electroreceptors in their very delicate snouts. If somebody breaks that snout, say with a shovel digging it out of their garden, it never heals properly and that echidna can't feed. You essentially condemn it to death. If they are lucky enough to have a clean bill of health, echidnas that leave the vet clinic need to be released as close as possible to where they were found. In this case, it means the echidna is going to be returned straight back to the garden it was dug up from. It goes back to where it belongs, only it had to spend a whole day in a vet clinic and risk death by shovel in the meantime.